Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your Illusion CC3 Plus character using a plugin that Luke from Illusion made. Now, as you all know, I made a tutorial, I think, about two weeks ago on how you can import FBX, your own characters, into Wonder Studio and then turn that video into Luke. And then what Luke did was created a plugin for Blender that will make this whole thing easier for us. Now, just a disclaimer, this is a beta plug in it's very much so experimental so you might run into some bugs but that being said let me go ahead and show you how easy this is now with luke's plugin so first things first let's go to luke's github let's go right here you're going to see i'm going to put the link in the description below again big thanks to luke from illusion for making this happen for us and what you're going to do is go to code and we're going to say download the zip file. You're going to look at the requirements right now. You're going to need Blender 3.4 or above, Character Creator 4.2.2 or above, okay? So I have the actual, all right, so I have the zip file now and I have Blender open. Okay, so just to make sure that I am in the correct Blender, I went ahead and searched for 3.4.1, which I have installed right here, as you can see. And what I'll do is just delete the stupid cube and camera. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to edit preferences right here and we'll say install go to my downloads and we're going to go to cc2 wonder main and then once that's done i'm going to go look for cc it's already in here cc2 wonder it's already checked off so that's good i'll close this out next what we're going to do is open up character creator 4 so i have it right here open i just opened it there's kevin open this up and yes, I know. And then next, I'm just going to select a CC4 character, which is going to be Camille. I know we don't really have a lot of characters in here. We need more. I think they actually just added Susan, so that's great. Um, So I'm going to go right here. And if I scroll down, you're going to see we have now Susan as well. Go, Susan. So I'm going to click Camille right here. Camilla. All right, so we have Camilla opened up. I'm going to go to the animation tab right here. And I'm going to type in post. Search for that post, because what we're going to need is the actual T-post, not this one, not the motion plus one. We need the actual, see if I can go back right here, T-post.rl post. I'm going to double click that right now, and she should be popping into a T-post. That's all we need here. We're going to go to File, Export, FBX, Clothe Character. I'm going to change this from Maya to Blender. I'm going to say Mesh and Motion. I'm not going to embed the textures. I'm going to change the calibration to current post. I'm going to uncheck first frame and bind post, delete hidden faces, and then I'll click the gear icon. And then we will select merge opacity to diffuse texture. This is very important because as you all know, the materials and the textures in Wonder Studio is very picky right now. So make sure you have that checked. And then I will export. Okay. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I created a new folder right here, and I'm just going to copy the same exact name as the character all throughout, okay? Because name convention, again, is very important to Wonder Studio. So I'm going to say Camilla, all right? And then I'm saving that right now. All right, so once that's exporting, I'm going to go back to Blender, go to File, go to Import, FBX, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and let's go to that test CC. And Camilla FBX should be here now. Make sure animation is checked. Import the FBX. All right, Camilla is here. Perfect. Click on Amateur. Everything is good to go. Now I'm going to go to the plugin right here by clicking that arrow. And now we're going to see CC2 to Wonder. And then all I have to do is say Export to Wonder. And again, I created a new folder here, which I am going to name this one more time. Camilla. And honestly, that's it. We just go to Wonder Studio now, Wonder Dynamics. I'm going to go to my assets, click on upload, upload a character. And again, I'm going to name this Camilla. Create. Next, I'm going to go to the folder where we exported Camilla, control A everything, and just drag in, drop, upload, and then just wait. And then click on validate. Fingers crossed, this should be good to go. Yeah, all right, so after three to five minutes of waiting, you're gonna see that Camellia is now ready for us to use, so close is right here. I have a video here that we're gonna test it out, so I'm gonna create a new project, and we'll just go with continue, and I'll upload a video here that I downloaded right here, drag and drop it there, click on next, 
scan frame for actors or actress. It's 2023. All right, once that's done, we're going to go to the characters right here. And then I'm going to drag and drop Camilla. Now, this is the test one that I did. So you can just go drag and drop right here. And now I can say next and then start processing. Now, I went ahead and pre-rendered one earlier so we don't have to wait because, as you know, it takes about an hour. So we'll close this out right here. And I'm going to show you the result real quick. So I'll go back to my projects and click on this right now. Now, like I said earlier, this is a beta plugin. So what I'm going to do is show this video to Luke again, because she can see the blunt shapes are a little bit crooked, you know? So her mouth's a little bit crooked, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be able to adjust that because he's a freaking genius. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you can easily upload illusion character creator characters to Wonder Studio. Now, if y'all learned something new today, please do like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year so I can quit and find a real job. 